We are live! Hello everyone! What's up, Shadow Destroyer, Gex, Zaytronic? Welcome! How's everyone doing? Hello, Rin Rin, TDN, Ixer with the 62 months. Thank you, Mr. Ixer. What you up to, man? Ah, oh, exhausted TDN, yeah. I feel you on that one. <clears throat> Golden Sakine, how you doing? <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, Miyokutsu, Azure Absol. Zalil Crow. We got Zaytronic, Sunset Star. V Rising, I've heard interest. I've heard it's a fun game. I don't know what kind of game it is uh, quite, but... Yeah, I've, I've heard the name a couple of times. Hello, Mr. Sunset. What's up? Hello, everyone. Oh, yes. Let's um, do a little recap. So we were at the hotel for a, uh, it, it wasn't a Steel Samurai event, but it was like some, uh, like some television, like some Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards kind of deal, right? Except a murder happens, and like, well, A, a murder happens, and B, Maya gets kidnapped, you know, what's new? But essentially, uh, this guy named, uh, Man on Guard is, uh, framed, quote-unquote, as the killer. And uh, we are given instructions from the guy who kidnapped Maya that we have to get him acquitted or she bites it. Except, after going through all this process, we are now at the point where we, we realize that our client is the guy who took the hit out on the guy that got killed. And so now we have to figure out a way to screw our client while also keeping Maya alive. Oh, Johnny Boy, Zell, Faison, Kaldari Pilot. Hello, Kualwar. Let's see. V Rising is survival crafter like Valheim slash Rust, but with vampires? Oh. Wait, a survival crafter with vampires? Wasn't that Redfall? Did that, did that game have crafting? Ah, well. The world will never know. I don't think anyone here has actually played Redfall. Myself included. Oh, it's just a looter shooter? Okay. Oh no, it was Maine that got Bakken, believe it or not. It was crazy, Absol. I don't know what I'm gonna do on Sunday now. Listen, if Edgeworth would have quit when his win record was destroyed, he would have quit after the first loss. Now, then again, neither did uh, Francesca. I got, I got bucking off of a Daily Disappointment. I think the second Daily Disappointment. Because I think I did do the one for uh, day one. I'll have to look at my summon history. But it's uh, it's pretty cool. 
I can so I can uh, pretend to save money and then blow it on something stupid. <laughs> like I usually do. Well, listen, I shouldn't say pretend. I, I, I say it with the intention of saving my Saint Quartz, and then I do something stupid with it. Like, uh... Getting extra BBs. Or Constantine. Well, that's not such a mistake anymore. Aftercare? Shelly the Killer. Ah, yes, the killer signature. The signature farewell. A nice hearty meow. There's no way this goes as planned. He probably bailed the second that cat me out, but you know what? Let's go. I forget where I need to go to actually go first. It might be the hotel. I might have to go to the hotel first. Oh well. I mean, while we have Adrian here, let's uh. Oh. Hold on. We gotta go to the hotel lobby and then move? Yes. There we go. Yo, it's Bear Guy. Damn, Phoenix. I'm pretty good at this. Did I read the latest Chainsaw Man? No, I don't really read Chainsaw Man, but I did I did see the images on Twitter. You know what? Good on them. Good on them.
about time Denji got some action. What's up, Solar? How you doing? Maybe there's something in there. Phoenix Wright 3 just wasn't the same without her. Make us do it the hard way. Hey, how's it going, Gamza? By the way, everyone, this was a goal stream chosen by Gamza, so thank you very much, Gamza. I'm just chilling. How you doing? You know what's a, a little sad? I actually forgot. I definitely recognize Adrian's face, but I don't remember what she did in Phoenix Right 3. I think she was in the very first case, wasn't she? It was either the first case or the second case. It was the one with the uh, the stepladder. Uh, maybe I talked about this last time, but I, I, I can't for the life of me remember what that case was about. Ow. I'm taking damage. Suicide report? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's right, mask the mask! Was it really the same case? Holy shit, I forgot. I remember that's the one where we spend a bunch of time in the, um... In the office, right? <laughs> Ron does get away with it, yeah. Oh, storming over there? I see. Dude, over here, it's been fucking hot these past few days. We 
relation between Celeste and Matt. I mean, it could be the uh, the most recent clue that we got. But let me just double. Let me just uh, cross my eyes and dot my T's. No, wait. <laughs> forget. Forget I said that. Okay, there we go. Got her, boys. You can live anywhere that's hot frequently. It's, if it's above 90 degrees, you get heat headaches. Oh, I see. For me, it's less the, the heat and more of like a humidity thing. Like, I, I can take a dry heat. Like, it's not great when it's like 90 degrees, but at least over here, it's, uh, it's bearable. Because of Matt. to more Draco on JP? I don't know if I'm going to roll for more Draco on JP. I'll have to think about it. Because on one hand, Draco is very nice, obviously, but like, you know, I don't like to wail on, I don't like to wail for NP levels on JP if I can help it. Uh, he sabotaged the relationship. That's what the conference was for. Got me there. T 
Holy shit. Hey, how's it going, Epic? Oh no, not the song again. How's it going, Salt? It's Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> Mr. Moldy! With the tier 3 sub in the 33 months. Threes across the board. What a terrible night to have a curse. Oh, wrong game. You know, I never played Simon's, uh, Simon's Quest. I hear it's not very good. It's that game, right? Unless I'm getting my wires crossed. But yes, uh, thank you very, very much for your support, Mr. Moldy. Did you fucking call me on my phone from five feet away? What an asshole. You're like that one Zetsubo Sensei character. Except you actually talk. Listen, if I can... Listen, we're absolutely going to play Apollo Justice after this, but, like, I'm... I'm wondering... If I were to play another, um, game in this franchise, how, how good would you say, um, the Miles Edgeworth Investigation series is? You say it's very good, okay. I gotta play those. I get you. One is okay, two is where it shines. Ah, the Milky Homes of <laughs> the Milky Homes of Phoenix Rock Games. <laughs> First one is solid, but the last case is very long and rough. Ah. Everyone has magical powers. Phoenix has his Magatama. Apollo has his acute senses. Edgeworth has logic. The darkest of arts. Thank you. 
Okay, I didn't realize we'd be dealing with Will, okay. Fucking hell. costume. Ah! There he is. I wonder if we can game over by getting mad acquitted. Fuck it. Press everything. Oh. Uh-oh. No, I wouldn't do that, Will. Knows. Hold on. Let me take a screen cap with this. <laughs> Listen, you said the Magatamas are secret power, but I think our actual power is just gaslighting. Okay, maybe we need to present evidence on that line. Maybe. Gave the bellboy a tip. Oh shit! We're the guests. Okay. Uh, presenting, I mean, we know it's him, but presenting his profile probably won't uh, do anything here. All right, well, we gotta push some kind of evidence if we want to make something happen here. I mean, he was carrying um, juice in that picture. Like, what are our leads? We got the tip. We got the uh, the bellboy. Not seeming like a normal bellboy. Oh. 
something there. Uh, no, that's not gonna help. Shit, man. This is actually a little more, um, tenuous than I thought. Is it this line? I watched the two of them for a while. Let's let's press that again and check. A tip. I mean, I'm guessing it was a really big tip. Nope, I fucked it. Oh man! Let's try uh, the profile. Actually, wait. Let me do this. How about just in case I brick this entirely? Oh, uh, yeah. Nope. Do we just have to let this pass? I don't quite understand. In this story, he wasn't gone for very long. Press him again? It's this thing again. Shit. Damn it. Dude, that's so rare having to press someone on the same statement. Okay, so I was on to the right. So I was right about the tip, I just didn't have the right thing to uh, present it. Thank you for the 42 months. Oh, sorry, the 60 months, Mr. Draconius. 60 months of shenanigans, curses, and fun. Thank for the five year ride, Peter. Thank you very much, Draconius, for sticking around. How's life treating you? Thank you. 
Life's busy, uh, I see. I'll go to story. Ah, we're pretty deep in. We should be able to wrap up this game tonight. And then uh, take a peek into Apollo Justice. Hey, how you doing, Scout? Turn <laughs> our key to lock. God damn it. <laughs> I don't think Phoenix Wright would be able to uh, get him an acquittal. Me? I'm doing all right, Scout. Saw the bellboy come out of the room. Just gonna rewind an actual court. <laughs> No, Phoenix, it, he, he couldn't hold it. Eight, ten. Age 15. So he wasn't dead yet. one all right you know what live dangerously <laughs> we're just badgering him now <laughs> okay we got an amended statement Oh no, no, not again, Phoenix. That was kind of a gimme. Adrian's glass. Hey, what's up, Teaspoon? Also, give me a second. Grab a protein bar real quick. second. Yeah.
<laughs> yes, give him a penalty. Oh. So he talked to Matt, went into Juan's room, and then talked to Matt again. into gaslight technique. about the something. Guess like gatekeep go Phoenix, yeah, exactly. Something kind of small. Oh. It's the button, isn't it? Wait. I thought Andrew, or Andrews was the one that did it, or Adrian rather. Hmm. Yeah, let's press again and ask it one of the uh, different options. Person inside. Oh, it could have been Adrian. Gotta remind him. Wooden statue? The fuck? Teddy bear, the scratched up one. Because it was in Matt's house, but it was actually, um, it actually could have been from Juan's room.
<laughs> All right. Well, the alien's a known quantity. Oh, oh god! <laughs> Hold on. I'm about to fuck this up. Uh, the person who received the bear. That's like, I think, our most... Uh, probably the least tenuous point, right? Because there's doubt, because he recognized the arm, but he never elaborated on the arm. the bear. Oh! Oh, we have, um... We actually have evidence against that. Mia, help! Yeah! Go, Phoenix, go! I didn't think it would leave me back here. Mmm! Oh, that's good, Phoenix. Thank you. 
Shit. Quick, objection. I will raise an objection. objection. Yeah. <laughs> Updated bear report. Yeah, here's our dirty trick. We pin it on Adrian again. Oh, yeah, this is where it's going. Preserve the timeline just a second. <laughs> it's you, Miles! <laughs> Right, you crook. Two with Adrian, huh? Holy shit, hanging on by a thread. Single clue. A ten no, we're not going back there. No! 
<laughs> Listen, Gumshu, that, that circus is your problem. I want nothing to do with it. Maya's beyond our help right now. Beyond my help. I ain't going back there. Old office building, mailbox, third floor. Circus is in sight. <laughs> Dude, that'd be fucked up. Pin the crime on a previous culprit. Oh, it's a storage. Storage bear. Wait. Is the suicide note in there? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How do we connect this to the suicide note? Because that's definitely what's inside there. Probably isn't actually jewelry. Turn its tail to the right and then push it in. <laughs> you can do it, Judge! You can do it! What's in the box? What's in the box? Thank you. 
Alright, what's it say? Solus Island, thank you for the sub, welcome! Hope you're doing well. GBA, yeah, they removed a lot of the, uh, you know, the pixelization for this version, but it looked pretty good even back then. Well, actually, I I shouldn't say that. I, I only played the DS version. I should correct myself. I've only played the DS version. I don't know how the GBA version looks. That's right. We never got the uh, GBA originals. Quest, I see. All right, hold on, Ma all right, Mia. Let's call her Maya. The suicide note. Fucking lawyer. How dare you? Oh, you're right. If it's to get the note, only one person could have contracted the killer. At least that's uh, that's the story we're cooking up. Okay, not bad. Shit. 
way. What the fuck is Matt? So when did Matt get into his house? a break in this courtroom. Holy shit. There's a piece of evidence that he should investigate. Present evidence! Objection. Ah, there we go. No time to think, Mia. I gotta parrot you. There's something that he had his hands on that he didn't properly investigate. What could it be? not quite following the logic. What did Edgeworth have his hands on? That he didn't properly investigate. What? Um, I mean, we, we know the killer's calling card. Actually, wait. Why was Adrian holding it? Oh, she picked it up when she was in there, huh? I don't think that'll take us very far. What do you think, Chad? The note itself, you think? It's true, he didn't really examine it that well. The badge? Ah, good one. Alright, let's try the note. Oh, it was just given to the judge. Wait. Uh, okay. Oh, is that how we're gonna stall for time? Handwriting analysis? Oh wow, dude, it's a bad day to be Adrian. 
Ooh, no reverse. No you. Yeah. <laughs> Fine time, boys. my favorite use of take that. We're just literally throwing things around. Pretty cool. Dude, we play fucking dirty in this one. Nice go shoe. <laughs> Dude, 
too. <laughs> Ghost is committing so many crimes. Oh. Uh oh. We'll need some tea for this one. We run every red light, Gumshoe! Oh, the transceiver? Strong my Yeah, dude, I got real lucky. Yolo Bakken. I wonder if there was a right answer to that. I thought we could track um, Gumshoe via like one of the uh, devices he had on him. The answer was Von Karma, really? Oh man. Does, does this have any sort of, uh, penalty? Oh, it was Von Karma! Oh, you're right. Damn, I really screwed the pooch on that one. Making shit up? Damn, I heard <laughs> he's updated the autopsy report before, but updating the suicide note post mortem, that's a new trick. Wait, Juan wrote it? Wait, it's impossible for for Matt to not have known it was a fake. So, are we saying he knew it was a fake? Oh, is it because of the camera? Is that where we're going with this? Bear, right? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, because she could see into the room.
cross-examine him? Oh, is it time? Wait. Oh, no. How do we get a hold of him? Oh, okay. I was gonna say. It'd be fucked up if we, if we like, physically got him, but we do have the transceiver. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you just got out of a jury selection? Hey! Wait a second, like, as in you got out of jury duty? If so, congratulations, sick thing. Oh, hell yeah, dude.
Wait, betray that trust, huh? I mean, he did betray the trust, though. <laughs> Holy shit. probably where we need to present. I thought he was going to tell us. Didn't he agree? Yeah, okay. Just had to do it a second time. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on. I got to get saved. We this is this is getting good. Okay, a likely story. Boy. No, we gotta continue it, man.
Imagine if Wright turned his powers to evil. Imagine if he was a prosecutor. Tampering with the scene of a crime? Yeah, well, okay. No, I gotta question it. We're going in. Got me. Oh. 
Looking for a successor, huh? <laughs> Yo, Phoenix Wright, Ace Assassin. I like it. Let's go. Here, let's... We're probably gonna present something on that line. I just have to decide what. Um, Adrian definitely panicked when she found the body. And when she found out he was dead. Okay, here. This is where we gotta make our play, I think. Probably the spilled, uh... Spilled water, maybe? Establish that. Oh, maybe this. No, it's not it. No, I'm going to die. Oh, yeah, there we go. This, uh, much more directly implicates Adrian. ceremony met at a certain bar well, let's ask about the bar this case likes uh, making us press lines to unlock um to unlock things in previous lines, so let's go from like the most notable line backwards. Oh. Always in person, huh? Hmm. 
The bear. thin ice right now. Let's see if we can uh, if we can identify any weakness. This was probably the part that stood out to me the most. The part about meeting in the uh, or meeting in person. So is there anything to suggest that Adrian... Oh! I mean, the, one of the big questions is, why is Adrian carrying the card herself? Because that would obviously implicate her. Well, if it was known, anyway. Uh, let's see. Oh! Another line of attack is that only, um, the only reason they knew about what was inside the room was because of this bear. The big bear with the spy camera. But if it was Adrian that hired, um, that hired the killer, she wouldn't have needed to a uh, spy camera to know it was in there. Hmm. So which is the stronger line of attack? Maybe I should say no? I wonder if saying no will add something else to the record. Let's try that. No, that's not it. Let's try again. So there's two decision points here. Maybe Edgeworth will uh, pick up the slack or something. Oh! We got new lines, okay. Wait. Him? names a girl Adrian? Yeah, it's like naming a... Uh, naming a guy Camille. Actually, wait, isn't Adrian, um, the name of the girl in Rocky? I've never actually seen Rocky, full disclosure. Oh! 
How to make a radio emote. Okay, uh, just take, yeah, take it by email this time, sure. Proof that the killer met with his client. Oh, that's dangerous. That's a very dangerous uh, dialogue option. I mean, it could be the figurine that ended up inside of uh, inside of Matt's house. That's probably the strongest thing that I have currently. So I'm gonna say, no, I don't have proof. Let's wait. Small other things? Yeah, fuck it. Press further, whatever. Uh, wow, he bought it? Okay. Like how the radio bounces around when it talks? Oh, yeah. You know, seeing these appliance, or this appliance bob up and down reminds me of something. Any of you guys ever seen the Brave Little Toaster? I remember really liking that first movie. Uh, I think I saw the second one once. It was all right. Nothing, uh, nothing too memorable. I didn't see the one where they go to space, though. Okay, let's think it over again. Oh yeah, they made sequels. They have th there's like two sequels. 
I think one where the guy goes to college. Wait, he was already in college in the first movie. I forget what he did in the second one. Okay, so bear figure. There's bear figure and email. Those are two lines where you can press. The mask? Oh, it's this one. Shit. Nope. Definitely got the mask. No, I don't think this is the one we, uh, we push. Right here, let me make another save. This is just me, just like me not knowing there were 20 Land Before Time movies. Dude, they need so many of them, they get so bad. Sorry, lads. I love me. This one's a little, uh, a little cryptic. Okay, let's say we present proof that the killer met with his client. Probably the best thing, right? Nope! Oh, it was! Oh, oh, okay. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Uh, this probably isn't something we can push. Hold on. Okay, I feel like I'm fumbling around in the dark. What do you want? <laughs> what was Adrian doing around this time? Was she, uh, like, trying to frame Matt? Is that where this is going? Oh, 
fuck me, dude. I'm... This is... This is hard. What would Adrian have done if she got the barrel? She would have destroyed it. Oh! So do we go with the suicide note? Is that where we're going with this? Huh. We could try that, yeah. Oops, no, back. Yeah, that sounds about right. Cluster fuck. Oh no! Well, let him bring a drink onto the stand! He's guilty! Sorry, Maya. I gotta take this clown down. Your collateral damage. Objection. 
Wow, dude, he took that car crash like a champ. All right. Oh, a gun. All right. All right. What? I mean, what's so special about the pistol? He shot her with it! Wait. The bullet was in her shoulder? Huh. <laughs> Man. I mean, at least she, uh... At least she got it removed. I'm like her old man. One of its special buttons is missing. Wait a second. I wonder if it's not the Jammin' Ninja's button. I mean, he was trying to blackmail the killer, and presumably what's on that tape might count for that. It's 
So we could break their uh, bond that way. Turn the chessboard. Yeah, I mean, it's the Dick Killer needs to know that Matt's been double crossing him. Damn, Judge is being awfully stiff today. Usually he's a big pushover. Think, Phoenix, think! Oh, should have saved. Whatever, I know who it is. Oh, if, imagine picking John Doe and losing the case right here. The tape. It has to be the tape, dude. <laughs> Got a bad end doing that once? Amazing. been double crossed to blackmail you. this one up. Boy. 
I think our boy's gonna want to go to prison now. Hey, what's up, Adele? more like it, Matt. Not guilty. Let's put the burden on him. the Yu-Gi-Oh hellhole bin? Oh, um, oh my god, look at him go, holy sh- oh! Honestly, um, I'm waiting till the ladder straightens out so I have to fight less snake guys. So I've just been, um, playing like once or twice in the early part of the, uh, the reset. Actually, all things considered, Adrian gets out of jail pretty fast for attempting to uh, frame someone for murder, huh? Probably because they actually did do the murder. Oh, my perfect record. All right, time for my homeless art.
Another game? If you mean um, Trials and Tribulations, I've already played it on stream. I've actually finished that game before, this one, because uh, Big Top Turnabout. The Turnabout Big Top was, uh, it was a wall. I think the order that Gamaza picked these actually did pan out quite well. Because God knows. Having to plow through, like, Big Top in one push, ooh. That would have, uh. That would have been soul destroying. I wonder when the, um, when Rise from the Ashes takes place canonically. Because this implies that he, um, he went on his, like, journey of self-discovery right after the, uh, uh the, whatchamacallit, the Von Karma case. I forget the specific name. happens after. Okay. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Tempest. Your mouth is so big in this. What the f <laughs> He's pogging. <laughs> I got a whip. 
Let's use it on Maya. <laughs> is, is this what you want, game? It's fine. Let's get everyone. Everyone gets the whip. Phoenix Wright is on his villain arc now. Listen, knowing what we know now, from the third game, it probably would have been better if Phoenix Wright got, uh, skilled enough with a whip to whip steaming hot cups of coffee from the air. Maybe would have saved him some burns. He's built like a tank, this guy. What's up, Simurk? Tracking device is going off. <laughs> you know what? No. Let's get him. Oh, I thought we we're going to whip him.
What the fuck, Maya? What the fuck, Gumshoe? Dude. Ba-da-ba, ba da ba Oh. I knew Mia Sprite when she possesses Pearl. Oh. Damn. Holy shit, Pearl. Where'd you get the money for this? We're, we're not footing the bill for that, right? Right? Aren't I, well, we're like a defense attorney. And I don't know what our rate is. It probably is not, it probably isn't very good. Oh. Oh yeah, she did become a waitress, huh? I think I remember that. Yeah, I'll say this. This is definitely the weaker of the, the yeah the weaker of the three games, but this last case, this last case is pretty good. You know, once in a while, like the the like the interrogations go into like how the fuck was I supposed to, was I supposed to know that territory? But other, aside from that, it's quite a, a strong way of ending it. I think the, the primary mark against this case is that it requires playing through fucking big top turn. Oh my god. Speak, speak of the devil, right? This case. It ain't over yet, though, lads. As soon as these credits finish rolling. We'll be moving on to Apollo Justice. Oh, there's no finishing early. Apollo Justice is the second half of this stream.
If Apollo Justice is anywhere near as long as any of these games, we ain't gonna be done with that for a while. He's got a homepage? More like Trials and Tribulations in length. That's fairly long, I think. Oh, shit. Don't destroy his coat, he needs that! Second trial and the last trial probably the longest and even then? Holy shit. Am I gonna stick Dick Killer on tier? Yes. Come to think of it, they're pretty, um, in this, um, in this universe, they're relatively fast about executing the people convicted of murder, right? At least they were very fast about, uh, oh. That's a sprite. Yeah, what I was saying was that they're they're pretty fast about it with Dahlia. So I do wonder how much time Matt actually um, bought for himself by confessing to murder. Because he, he did go to prison, right? Unless I misunderstood. He's actually just like running for his life out in the wild.
<laughs> nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, I got two achievements. All right, chat. Ace Attorney Trilogy complete. Now, I'll be right back and then we'll load up Apollo Justice. So stay tuned. Give me just a moment. Summer Hushi is wildly inconsistent. She's one of my best AoE assassins and I can loop pretty consistently with her. Just give her or a team 2030s, spam quick slash quicks into arts with her after she NPs for the first time and call it a day. Edit. Just so it's clear I'm saying this based on my own experience, as well as looping based on refund and star income after initially NPing and looping from there. Not about NPing right when the fight starts and looping from that. Also further edit it to make it clear what I'm getting at. Um, a big allure of looping is to be able to do so while avoiding face carding, so that fact would work against her. I wish Summer Ushi was better too. Summer Ushi could use improvements, of course, what servants don't. But in my experience, that's what works for me, and I remember being able to loop a few times as soon as the crits kept coming, especially thanks to the passive star income. So no, it doesn't really work against her, unless you want her to NP right off the bat. Uh, to repeat, the appeal of looping is to do so with only your NP and no face cards. To avoid face card RNG. And to repeat, in my experience, I managed to make it work, even with chaining our NPs with their own face cards. Uh, I don't think you understand the point. You can't say AoE looping and then immediately say critting face cards. These, these two are completely different things. I'm not trying to be hostile. I'm just informing you of this fact that these are both completely different things. But I'm not saying that, though. When did I say AoE looping? Especially right off the bat. I'm saying that I managed to start NP loops after building up NP and star income. I obviously can't quite loop with her right off the bat, as I already said in my previous comment. I'm talking about right after using her NP for the first time in a fight and then looping after that. I'm talking more about looping from refunds after the initial NP. Also, I'm not a novice by any means. I know what you're talking about. Three turn clears with NP loops. I'm talking about NPing with her before using her face cards to refill her gauge and ensuring she's more likely to crit with them so she can NP the next turn. If it's not no looping, if I'm able to get her way. back to 100% after Are doing that by the time it's my turn again, and then rinse, wash, Who repeat, then what is? When saying Summer Ushi is inconsistent, they mean in a Adele. traditional looping sense. That's what you originally commented on. How are you going to now say that's not what you're Holy talking about when that was the shit. original point? Apparently, you also didn't read what I was talking about. Oh. Again, for the third time, I'm talking about Everybody my own experience wrong. with using her. That's, burgers. quote, how I'm Old going to now say well that's now. not what I'm talking about, oh, unquote, when yeah, you and the you others here are talking about how she plays more generally. Read the last sentence of my initial comments instead of putting words in my mouth. Also, chat, you're So, I think the problem is you're just talking about yourself and how you can finagle her into looping, um, that's cool and all, but the point I brought up is that she can't three-turn loop the same way that you'd want her to AoE loop her to loop. Uh, no face cards, just NP. Which is why I made that comment in the first place, because Summer Ushi is not a consistent looper. You need RNG for face cards, and redefining what looper means is not a great way to go about the argument. All this while Kichi Hogan seems to be the first AoE assassin that could loop like this. And unfortunately, Ushi can't. At least you're getting it now. Again, I know, generally speaking, as one well as on her own, she can't hits. exactly loop with her NP alone. Also, I'm not the one redefining looping. Again, it's not looping if I'm able to first NP with her and then get her back up to 100% with the face cards by the time my next turn comes up when I NP again. <sighs> then what is? <laughs> 
By your definition, no servants who don't Dude, give 100% go. NP refund through only their NP are loopers. If anyone's redefining, it's nearly everyone responding to me. No one is putting words in your mouth. You, for some reason, are choosing to miss the point of what they're saying. What you do is not looping. It's crit farming, and that's okay if that works for you. Cool, keep doing it. But to say you're looping is false. This whole time you've been trying to change the definition of looping to fit your situation, but that's not how it works. My guy. How many times <laughs> do I have to say that I'm explaining from my own experience then that I'm not talking about three turn clears using only NPs to loop. I'm talking about NP loops I was able to do after using your NP for the first time in a given battle. Let me give you an example, just so it's clearer. One time my front line had oh, double Ushi riders shit. and my summer Ushi. Depending on whose Ushi was up from my friends list, I'd have either one or two with 2030s during that lineup. It's and I would have both riders and P gain up active by the time summer Ushi was ready to NP. Mind you, by then, I'd be averaging a minimum of 30 or so stars per turn and easily hitting or over 50 if I managed to do quick chains. I have Summer Ushi and P with both gains active and, depending on what I get, and especially when possible, aim to have her do a solo chain with either a quick or an arts to finish. I'm talking about how after instances like this, I was able to NP another time or two with her doing this. Again, I'm not talking about three turn NP loop clearings, since that's never been what I've been able to do as far as my own style goes. I've never been good at doing that, and I'll be the first to admit that's not what I'm good at doing. <laughs> and I'll be the first to admit that's not what I'm good at doing. I've always been more of a player that like <laughs> <I can't. laughs> I've always been more of a player that likes to draw things out and play with my food. <laughs> with only certain fights. <laughs> With only certain fights being where I actively, actually try to end it as fast as I can. <laughs> I'm talking strictly about how I was able to have her NP <laughs> twice, thrice, and if I was really lucky, four times in a row. Particularly longer slash boss fights where I opted to have her in my team. Not necessarily where I was able to end the fight quickly. Honestly, if you still don't understand what I've been saying after this, then I don't know what to tell you. You say I'm choosing to miss the point when you choose to ignore that I already know what you're talking about while talking past me. Again, if it's not looping, if I'm able to first NP with her and then get her back up to 100% with her face cards by the time my next turn comes, what is? Still waiting for an answer. I literally said that's crit farming. There you go, not paying attention. If you need face card RG for you to get your NP back, you're not looping. End of discussion. Have a good day. Again, still no answer to my question, and you accuse me of not that's paying attention. Question, yes, that's what I can expect from one who watches Quarter Poundering with time. Cheese. Have a nice day. Postscript. Also, it's literally. Not that I expect you to know that either when you can't even define a word when asked. <laughs> Congrats on finishing justice for all and now for you to enjoy your hamburgers. Also, let's put the golden sun up now. Yep, Golden Sun 2 is up. Also, holy fucking shit. Thank you again, Fidel, for the 50,000 bits, you lunatic. Holy fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do this. Uh, can I set this? Leaderboards. Here. I've set it to all time. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yep, yep. Holy shit, look at that leaderboard. Oh my god. That's incredible. Anyway, let's get moving. Oh, you have to refresh. Uh, I said it. If you refresh the stream, it'll pop, it'll show us the new leaderboard. No, I have it set to all time. Yeah, it'll it'll uh, show that if you refresh the page. This game's a little loud. Let me adjust things a little bit.
I like to give both shitty and good anime on movie night. L listen, you give it and you take it away. Whoa. Thank you very much for the 3,000 bits, Teaspoon! Thank you very, very much. Oh. Very slick and stylish. What was the gap between Phoenix Wright 3 and Apollo Justice? It was like, what? It was at least a year, right? I remember there being a, a delay between those two games, at least for their uh, DS releases. No, no, not not like in-game. I mean, in real life. Around four years? Okay. Oh, it's also around four to six years in game. Damn. Yo. Look at that portrait. Also, hold on. Autoplay is this. Oh, it has auto. So good. Kristoff? Oh three and oh seven. Okay. Oh yeah, that reminds me, Gamza. How's your Nikkei going, dude? That that like the power boost recently has let me just AFK through hard mode. Like I'm on the chapter after twenty. The name Apollo Justice was decided in collaboration between the Japanese and American divisions of Capcom. 22 meetings? You know what? It's a big decision, man. I don't I don't actually know like at what point the Phoenix Wright uh, games became huge, but the DS games were definitely a hit over here. Well, I say definitely. I remember them being a hit over here. I guess they really wanted to stick the landing when they were switching uh switching leads. Although, come to think of it, if, if the Phoenix Wright games are such a hit, why didn't we get the Edgeworth, uh, Edgeworth second game? Oh. Aren't you that guy from, uh, Gen 6? guy that, um, the guy with the flowette. Mr. Fine. Ah, oh, alright, very funny. As, yes, thank you. Oh, you play Memory of Goddess? Yeah, dude, it's pretty fun. I, I hope they, uh, I think they actually did fix it so challenge mode is, uh, a little more engaging than it used to be. I haven't had a chance to try it yet, though. You almost have enough for a pilgrim mold roll. Ah, enough for a free pine. I understand. If Warren, only two you really want to make happen. Dude, Trung Mai, Hentai Udon, it's gonna be like an actual crime against humanity. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Pain! <laughs> oh god! Listen, Prosecutor Pain had the option of aging gracefully and he has rejected it.
She's like trajectory and spirit of justice. I can only imagine. I bet he shows up as a cyborg or something. Ah, yep, there it is. Phoenix Wright. Piano player? So let me adjust the volume a little up. I think I over overcorrected. Grape juice. And you hear someone else? Yeah, it's Apollo Justice. Is that Twisted Fate? Honestly, I know nothing about this game, aside from the fact that Phoenix is on his hobo arc. That's all I know about this game. And apparently they reveal that pretty early. Game peaks in this case? Oh. But this case is good. Okay. Hey. Okay. I'm down to see. Although, uh, yeah, you guys uh, said that the case number two is like a fucking marathon, huh? It sounds like quite a stumbling block. Case three, huh? I mean, surely it can't be worse than turn him up big top, right? Nah, I'm good. I know how to play. Oh, hold on. Oh fuck. Oops. Okay, that made it full screen. Give me a second. Ah, there we go. Or 
Okay, no, the game will continue auto-playing out of focus, but... I was messing with some volume settings. That probably explains why. It's the worst final case in the series for the final case. Case 3 is... better than Big Top, but not by much, is the impression I'm getting. Uh-oh. Well, we'll see then. Let's barrel head first into destruction. How long was the gap between, um, like, in real-world releases, between Apollo Justice and the next mainline Phoenix Wright game? Because I remember there being a fair delay, right? Unless Apollo Justice was just a really late DS game. Dual Destinies was 2013. Ah. Hold it! Damn! Seven years, Phoenix? <laughs> okay, these, but I'll give it a look. Never touch the murder weapon? The fuck does that mean? Hold on. Two AM April seventh seventeenth rather. Okay. 
Wow, all right. Really putting himself in danger to uh, train us, huh? Oh, I need to change the game. Hold on. We're still set to Ace Attorney Trilogy. Give me a second. Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Boom. Hold on a second. Objection! What's up, Beasel? <laughs> Dude, this guy's got some lungs on him. He's like the Elizabeth Bathory of attorneys. Objection, Your Honor. I can think of another reason to hold a uh, bottle backwards. Is if you're like a serious alcoholic. Like a serious alcoholic. You reverse grip your bottle. For faster access. Christoph Gavin, huh? Must be related. Because I know who the, um... I've definitely seen the regular prosecutor for this game. Is he brave? Well, that remains to be seen. Maybe Apollo will get put on trial for that later. Oh. <laughs> the Phoenix Wright, what year is this? What the fuck is that? so big though it's like you took a like a handset and just carried it around in your pocket I don't know, man. I can't think of anyone that wouldn't have swapped with to a uh, flip phone by this time. 
Because even if you're not a smartphone kind of guy, carrying around a brick like that seems awfully inconvenient. God damn it! Why? Hold on. Now I gotta. Now I gotta dig this up. my duty as a citizen as an old timer there we go perfect ah uh, it's been a long time hasn't it Japanese is Masaka. Oh, that would explain it. The hideout? That's a very specific way of spelling hide. I don't like this. Wait, what's the guy's name? I can't believe it! Saul bad guy was arrested. They finally got him. Putting the guilty in guilty gear. She was the dealer. And Miss Lockett. Wait, strangling him to death? Excuse me? Objection! Seven years undefeated? It was the power of his hair. 
Dude, he's like the he's like the Samson of attorneys. The second he lost that Pompadour, it was over. More chips on the victim side and the bottle as well. Bottle is there, and so are the chips. Okay, that's consistent. What are those, like two aces? Okay, yeah, the victim had a full house. A full house with kings over a full house with sevens. Anything suspicious over here? All right, let's get straight to the uh, the heart of the problem. Strangling him to death? Apollo! <laughs> Control yourself! <laughs> Dude, he's dying of cringe over there. Alright, so I want to present the uh, the autopsy, right? But before we do that, let's, let's press the other line and see what we got. Let's see if we can get some more info out of her. Have the AC running in that club? Sounds miserable. Let's go.
Wait. Someone put his hat back on? Looks like Aang, oh my god. Where's the locket? Well, here, let's press this just to see what we get out of it. I don't think presenting on that one is, um... Yeah, I think this is a red herring. Okay, uh, is there anything we could present here? Bottle was facing that way. So we can't deny that that's a possibility. Yeah, okay, let's go with the locket. Objection! I think that's the most uh, concrete piece of evidence we have right now. Look at this photograph. Holy shit! I can't believe Phoenix Wright is fucked. This is way more shocking than the murder. Decided. I thought he strangled him first.
You use the same inflection in bed as in court, probably. Take that! Take that! Take that! Hold it! <laughs> Hold it! Point chip and one thousand point chip. Okay, so the red, yeah, red I'm guessing is a hundred. Unless the size doesn't matter. So bad at math? I can't I can't calculate. Mr. Gavin! Please, I'm I signed up to be an attorney, not a mathematician. We see the blue deck. Where's the red deck? Oh, maybe it's just on the ground. Too many points? Oh, hold on. That's a good point. Yeah, there's way more than... It's like 10,000 if, if the black chips are uh, 1,000. So it must be the other way around. The red chips must be uh, the thousands. Maybe? Either that or there's some fuckery afoot. I'm starting to think there's fuckery afoot. Thank you. 
so I guess we present on this one. Because this is the line that got appended, which implies to me that we should be presenting on this one. Not this one, even though I would think that if there's an issue with the point total, we'd be presenting on this. But let's try on the second line. Okay, good. Logic worked out. Yeah, the reds have to be a thousand. That's the only way you get 7,000 total. No, they're both right. Yeah, okay. this going? What the fuck? <laughs>
Make fun of Payne's hairdo all you want, but it was style 500 years ago? He was born in the wrong century. The wrong millennium, perhaps. Question. I don't know, like, I don't think a full house is that rare, all things considered. With aces, maybe. But, like, I don't know, man. I, I played a little poker in my time. And I feel like a full house, while, like, an impressive hand is not like a rare hand. Have a good one, Hollow. Thanks for stopping by. Wait, you're playing with two decks. this up though. You know, express. I don't know if I have anything that directly correlates to saying two decks. Or maybe I could show the um the fact that there's both red and black cards. consistent? Let's see. Oh, what the fuck? I was caught up in the dex thing. Yeah, you're right. No, they only have two aces of pop. Hand. Oh, whatever. It's it's. I'm, I just have to point out that there's not five aces. Take that. Oh, okay, it had to have been his hand specifically. All right. All right.
Ah, we got the, the flip thing. Oh man, it's been a while. See the other hand. Please. Okay, I, I understand what he means, but I still find it very funny how, how it went, if Mr. Wright isn't guilty, that means I am. What the fuck, Phoenix? Wait, I'm sorry. Using the red deck. Yeah. Yeah. 
mean, it had to have been after, right? Well, I mean, Olga said that she put a card into um, Phoenix's hand. after. Oh, it's to it's the frame Phoenix. It's to make it look like he had a motive for um, going on his uh, for uh, allegedly going on his rampage. saying that it's him, is it? I mean, so, right, like, it's established that they're the only two people in the room. Hey, what's up, Fenrir? Well, what if it was Mr. Wright? The alternative is that Phoenix did it just to fuck with us. was a certain someone else. Are you perhaps saying that whoever did it is colorblind?
Where it's Furio Tigre. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that case was terrible. I think his case might be like my second least favorite that I've played so far. Big Top? No way. Oh, is worse Big Top? Yes. Yeah, I don't think any case I've done so far is worse than Big Top. Just because Big Top has, like, a couple of things going against it, it is crushingly long. The map that you're in is, like, super boring after, like, the initial, well, you know, the initial novelty of being in a circus. And the side characters in uh, Big Top are, like, really comparatively quite dull and annoying. Wait a second. She has a cape and top hat. Does she have a cane, though? It's very important. Hey, what's up, coffee? her tell. I thought she was just, I thought she was just being a weirdo. <laughs> like, like most of the witnesses. Dude, they made this quite girthy for a first case. Actually, Sunset, you make a good point. Phoenix Wright could probably cheat at poker. Because all he has to do is ask someone whether they're, like, whether they've got a good hand and then present the Magatama. And if, <laughs> if a Cyclock appears, he'll know. Or a Psyche Lock, rather. Oh! Quick fingers, huh? Wow. 
my god. Wait and hope, wait and hope. You are on our Thank you for the 100 bits, Teaspoon. <laughs> Yo, that's like, those are dice on her bandana. Not a bandana, her, um, what the fuck do you even call that? It is a bandana. It's not one like a bandana. Dimension the dice. Wait, no good cheating defendant? Five of hearts. Do we see that anywhere in these images? Uh, it's hard to make out there. No, that one doesn't matter. I see a uh, something with a heart suit on the ground. Hard to make make out if it's a five though. Oh, they took back Phoenix's hand. Picture is relevant.
<laughs> but why, though? Oh! Okay, just for a question, Chet. Not nothing really spoiler related, but are we gonna see that effect again in like within the next five minutes? Just just uh, out of curiosity, because I want to try something if that's the case. All right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little cheeky. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, hold on. You gotta believe me on this chat. I have a plan. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh, come on. If it had, because it inverted, it inverted the colors for that. So hypothetically, if it happens again, it would show everything as normal. Right? Oh! <laughs> it does work. <laughs> All right, I'm satisfied. Remind her the most of the moment of the crime? Pendant, maybe? I mean, it's either the bat or the bottle, right? Okay, there we go. Wait, what's the name of this case? <laughs> God damn it. All right, I see what you did there.
<laughs> Wait. Testimony's a load of shit. I mean, I guess it's something related to the bottle, maybe? we got to work with here. Cards were switched after the murder, that's true. Victim's hand? Is that where we go with this? Let's try it. Call the cops? Oh yeah, it was Phoenix! Oh, good point. Do we have to present on that line? Ah, whatever. Let's do it. Oops, hold on. You're right, you're right. Thank you, Moldy. Uh, you left the room, yeah.
What? Oh, so this music is banging. By someone who's colorblind. Wait! Someone who's colorblind? I can't believe Godot would kill again! Oh, how could he? Over poker! Did he see blue but not red? I thought his deal was that he, every, he saw everything as red because of his visor. I can't believe Winston Payne would do this! The fuck? So it's someone here. And they thought the cards were blue? Shit, I wish I could look at the log. Oh god, we have to go a ways back and see if anyone's made a wrong, like, reference to the colors of the cards. Oh shit! I'm thinking that he's kind of implying that it's Kristoff. That's where I- yeah, I agree, Sunset. That's- that's kind of what I'm thinking of. Dead man can't change cards, so it, it wouldn't be shoddy if that's true. Nor unconscious people, which... Well... I mean, she claims to have been hit with a bottle, but that hasn't been proven. I can't believe Winston Payne would commit murder like this. Fuck it, let's just accuse Kristoff and see what happens.
Go, what the fuck? Only the cards, their backs wreathed in blue flame. No, it's final out. I thought he was just being pretentious. Oh, what a callback. Dude, that would not have occurred to, that was so early on. It wouldn't have occurred to me that that was significant. Holy shit. fighting itself. Oh, we need to hear this shit. possible reason would Kristoff have to kill a guy? Dude, this would, I, I want to hear this. Hours? Yeah, hold on a second. Fucking hell. Dude, that reminds me, one of the worst restaurants I've ever been to. I don't know, it was like this, it was in the middle of a mall, right? It was like this very fancy looking place. And it was like a huge restaurant. They had, like, fancy decor and everything. It took them, like, a fucking hour and a half to serve. It was ridiculous. 
real fucking... Evidently, they didn't spend any money on, you know, kitchen staff. a little low on health, so let me just do this. Them and all. Ain't that the truth? present on that line, I think. Because that's the... Because when they found the crime scene, he had his hat on. So he wouldn't have been able to see, like, blood streaming down, right? Yeah, we'll take another look at the photo. Got it! Yes! What the fuck? Why?
was the only one who witnessed his head. Okay, so I got a couple of things going on. So he put... Is there anything where we can see the... the card? Oh, what the fuck? I didn't realize I could do this. There's nothing in here. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, maybe now we can present. Holy shit. Objection! Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Kristoff. Hey, how you doing, Mr. Gadroth? What's up? How goes Ace Attorney? Uh, I'm having a fun time. We actually finished up uh, the old trilogy. Now we're taking a peek at Apollo Justice. It's pretty interesting. This uh, this game comes out swinging. Dude, they go hard right off the bat. What you up to today? to put the hat on? Some JP grinding and then played more... Buzzkey 3. Ah, I see! Yo, whoa, how, how do you know that he was bald? Thank you. 
What the fuck is happening? What's his motive? Wait, is this what they call a why done it? Ah, uh, it's all coming full circle. Oh shit! Pick a card? No. What card? This doesn't happen to be a five of hearts. It's an it's a bloody ace. Oh. Yeah, what the fuck? Why is Apollo's first case so hard? Mm, can't be the same. That one's pink. He knows. Objection. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, the old music. Oh, hell yeah. in through the window. Hold it! 
the rage you sensed? Oh no, he's talking about vibes, man. Oh, shit. Give it a look over. It's a red back card, and it's bloody. All right, hopefully this is good enough. Take that!
Hey, what's up, Myth? Oh yeah, it's been a wild ride. <laughs> How he knew. When was this game? When was this game translated? <laughs> Dude, I can't believe this game predicted. <laughs> Our current usage of the word based. Oh, thanks to the end. Oh, 07 fucking hell. <laughs> the ancients, they knew. Yo, they got 3D models and shit. Well, yeah. Like for the whole room. I see some problems here. Thank you for the 49 months, or sorry, 51 months, Kalanos. At least in this courtroom, Fino, you, at least in this courtroom, Fino will never be charged with the crime of dodging responsibility. True. No court would convict me for not taking responsibility. So, I want to point out that Kristoff said he saw the uh, dealer, right? The dealer passed out. But the dealer was sitting in such a way that he wouldn't have a clear view of her if she was passed out on the ground. Wouldn't she be in his blind spot? I kind of want to say it's, um... Yeah, it's the witness. That seems very strange to me. Let's also check the court record. Okay, this is consistent with the photo, right? The victim being in the north and the um, dealer being in the west. Yeah, because that's where the window is. I want to say it's the first witness. Take that! No! Okay, maybe it's supposed to be the other witness. I'm gonna die. The second witness? How did the blood get on the card? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it would have to have been in the scuffle, right? You know, whenever one took place. Take 
I don't know, man. Blood splatters are weird. Like he got hit and then fell forward and then he was like propped back up but you know what i guess that's less complicated Five hours at Ace Attorney, you still, you still don't know what's going on? Uh, I'm starting to think our, our mentor is a bit of a crook. That's what I've gotten out of this. He's got some unknown grudge against this, uh, this twisted fate looking guy. And it would be Phoenix's, right? Oh, fucking hell. It's either Phoenix or Witness, too. Oh my god, Phoenix, give me a fucking break, dude! Were struck with the while he was sitting as shown here. Where would this assailant, assailant be standing? I mean, it would have been to the side, right? Oh, from the front? I mean, it would have had to have been in the wall, in the china cabinet. I mean, if it's from the front, there's literally only one place to put him. Otherwise, I would have said, um, from the side. Okay... Where the fuck is this going?!
This is insane. This seems remarkably uncomfortable. I mean, it's where Kristoff is. Kristoff can't see shit like this. They move fast. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, of course, a secret passage. Why the fuck not? I mean, it would explain the really awkward positioning of the killer. Okay, so he wasn't colorblind, just in a hurry. Oh shit, my controller. Oh no, it's out of power, hold on. I can fix this. I have spares. I got my Enna loops. Dude, these things went like a month with one, like, one charge cycle. They're pretty good. But I got the four pack. Yes, it works. Good. 
You know, I always thought they were some sort of like off-brand Energizer that they uh, made specifically for uh, Carnival Phantasm. I didn't realize there was like an actual brand <laughs> until like really recently. Sermon, what I send to get my end loop, so who could fit who could understand the difference between battery types? The <laughs> BB. I don't think Bebe would like that very much. Objection! Tesla? No, we'd have to send Edison. Because batteries are a form of direct current. the box. Also, Apollo's absolutely right. Yeah, the easiest solution is for Phoenix Wright to just fucking tell us, but you know what? It wouldn't be Phoenix Wright if he made it easy on us. That would also imply that this isn't actually the murder weapon. Because the actual murder weapon has a card hidden inside of it, which probably means that um, Kristoff has it. Or he threw it away somewhere. The bottle is empty.
hold on. Okay, if we find a card. If we find a card, we'll know. Ah! The Five of Hearts. Yup. Dude, all the stuff that Olga dropped. Okay, so Kristoff was somehow involved in in Phoenix Wright uh, losing his uh, defense attorney status. Yeah, what's the motive? Was it specifically to frame Phoenix Wright? Hold on a second. There is one loose end that's bothering me. Shadi's necklace disappeared. Which would imply that Kristoff took it. Because his necklace is different from Phoenix's. Because his is like... Uh... Like, Phoenix has like a, con like a continuous loop. Shadi's is more like a chain. You have a necklace? Um, he only had a necklace in... in this photo. But he was missing it. Yeah, he was missing it after his death. So it was definitely taken. It looks similar to Phoenix's rock, uh, locket. Um, like the the pendant part does, right? Or like the little the 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 final part where it ends. But it wouldn't make sense because we've seen what's inside of Phoenix's locket, and it wouldn't make any sense for Shadi to have it.
Oh. Okay, no, that's his locket. What? Oh, it is his locket. What the fuck, Phoenix? What does it mean? Ace, the bloody ace. So there's a rumor that Phoenix Wright might not be such a an upstanding guy after all. Oh, we actually fucking punched him. Holy shit. <laughs> Thanks, Phoenix. Holy shit, the plot thickens. All right, evidently Phoenix did something worth uh, worth retiring as an attorney over. Wow, what a starting case, dude. That was explosive. There's still raises a lot of questions though, doesn't it? All right. All right, have a good one, see you at the end. How old is Phoenix in this game? I'm not sure myself. The wheel of faith is turning. Oh. What? Okay, that, that, the, 
That scene, maybe, maybe could have used some polishing. It was on the DS? Well, here's the thing, Azure Absol. You have the option of not making a 3D cutscene there. <laughs> and they didn't take it. Okay. Now that I've found an appropriate still, I will be right back. Let me get a, let me get a snack or something. All right, lads, I'm back. So let me check something. How many, was it two months or two years? Two months, two months. Special talents, we can shout really loud.
I gotta say. Having what I can only assume is a water boiling machine and a glass teapot on that tiny little that tiny little stand seems awfully perilous. Is it magic? I guess so. I gotta say, I don't really like the look of that guillotine in the background, though. See the CEO? Okay, hold on. I have to know. What the fuck is up with this? with the spaghetti. Circumcision. Oh, my God. Nice trophy. Let's ask about the, uh, the elephant in the room. Must be all that drinking. Hmm. Thirty three.
Let's see, if, uh, if my math is right, that would mean Phoenix Wright uh, had a daughter before he ever became an attorney. You know, I feel like that doesn't add up. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, no, it's Phoenix Wright's hospital, all right. Oh my god, this guy's still alive? Doctor, please! Alright, well... I gotta know. Yeah, yeah. Grape juice. This guy's keeping up on his, uh... His, oh, wait. Wait a second. Yeah. I wonder... I wonder who's sending these. Hmm. Hold on. Turnabout is fair play, as they say. How's it feel, Phoenix? Phoenix, is it true that you had a daughter at 18? Dude, I'm telling Pearl, you're a dead man.
Holly. What's this uh, clan you're talking about? Not again! Names a park people park. This city's got problems, man. Could it be? Oh, never mind. Excuse me, sir. You got a little, uh, you got a little something um, everywhere. Sir, I'll take your case if you swear to never do that again. are ridiculously salty, huh? All 
All right, what I what I tell you? That's what I do as well when I find out something of mine is stolen. I strike a JoJo pose and start playing my harmonica. I also like how in seven years of being an attorney, Phoenix Wright has not actually um, saved any saved enough money to keep himself afloat. It just occurred to me. It's all coming full circle. Okay, am I hallucinating or did... Was there a Phoenix Wright... Um... Professor Layton crossover? Am I... Or am I getting my wires crossed? I could... I could have sworn I'm missing something. There was it's real? Okay, I'm not hallucinating. You know, I never played a Layton game. Mostly because I resent level 5 for never making Dark Cloud 3. But I'll gladly grind their fucking yokai watch who happens in Final Fantasy XIV like an idiot. That's interesting though, we have like three mini cases to start. It's quite a bit different, isn't it? Practice Clinic. Dude, is Gilgamesh running this place? Holy shit.
Every time, huh? Oh, hi, doggy. Spoon. The bowl tastes like noodles, huh? That's kind of fucking disgusting. See the light? I see. Well, hold on. Cleaning his dishes with rainwater is also kind of fucked. City rainwater? I don't like this. That seems actually kind of fucking disgusting. Three shots for the price of one. Oh, that is in San Fran City rainwater? Dude, you'll die. You drink, you drink noodles cooked in that. That's death. Well, so far I'm liking that the um, investigation segment seems a little more fleshed out than the old games. That's pretty cool. Let's see what it uh, builds towards. Or builds towards, even. <gasps> Momiji Inabushiri with the Tier 2 sub in the 56 months. Thank you very, very much. How's your week been? What's up?
Been off. Vacation and play D2 final shape yesterday on Legendary. D2 final. Uh, remind me which um, what the D in D2 stands for. Because I can think of a couple. Oh, Destiny 2, I get you. this clinic, dude. Wrong crowd, huh? Alright. Oh, we can go into the garage. Alright. Is that a camera of the area outside the garage? That's, a, that's actually pretty cool. It's quite handy. Hey, check it out. Is that a PSP? Hold on a s- First of all... Give me that. Okay, we got a cell phone. Second of all, what's in that, uh, what's in the muffler? Or the exhaust? I don't know what it's called. I'm not a car guy. Tailpipe. is this? Oh, mystery solved. We did it. But why are they in the tailpipe of this car inside of a clinic's garage? Oh. <laughs> what a line. I can't phrase it like that. Sorry, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to do that. Is there something in here? Wait! <laughs> Why are these a 3D object? 
Alright, I don't see anything. The bow? is that set to? What is that, like 9? Nine... 9.30? Seems like... Oh, never mind. Oh, seems like that's it. Okay. How about this bowl? <laughs> yeah, that's how you feel after drinking a fucking bowl full of salt. Holy shit. Yet, but I think that's going to be important. No, I didn't mean to click the car. I wanted to see the little the camera. Mr. Bones. Wait. Why is it painted gold though? I thought it was just like sun damage. Oh, hi kitty. Nice. Okay. Let's take a little move around. If we can get a mirror from the accident scene, maybe we can get some... What the fuck happened here? trying to get over the edge. Kitaki. Some things I very much need to see first. What's up with all this paint?
Oh, there's multiple people here. No, what's in there? Slippers. From that clinic. Oh, okay, good. We found it. All right, now we're on to something. Uh, I'll take the mirror. Don't want to play along with us, huh? Detective Sky. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't think she'd be appearing in this game. Luminol. reminds me of you know there's this some um, I don't know how to put this it's like an old person activity where they will like go into malls right and just run around the mall or rather like walk around the entire mall as their like uh, daily exercise but like this is a thing that's associated with dead malls like if you ever watch like the dead mall series and stuff right like they're they will like you will see just old people running around dead malls. And it ain't to buy stuff. used to do that at Kmart's and Sears stores as well. Ah. Dead malls implies the existence of live malls. Live malls do exist. Although, to my understanding, it's usually the ones that are already like mega malls, right? Like malls that have, um, that are attractions in their own right that survive.
Gunfire? Holy shit. All right, see you, Moldy. Have a good one, dude. Bloomers? Follow, please. Nine last night. Kitaki family. <laughs> Anything agency, huh? Let's get a move on. We'll probably find a lead over at Eldune's place. Yes, right over here. And we'll trigger the dialogue about the uh, missing mirror. You go. So this is the car that hit Phoenix right. I bet you we need to go and grab the um, slippers at some point.
Whoa, no! Can we show Phoenix's daughter's panties? You know what, why the fuck not? Kentucky family? Oh, the Kentucky family. Could it be that the doctor's gone rogue? It's going against the uh, family's interests. Phoenix, you son of a bitch. Damn, it doesn't give a fuck this guy. All right, fuck you, Phoenix. Oh. Your fiance? Oh, shit. Oh, she's marrying in. Oh, okay. found in the park. We need to get into the park, I'm thinking. Walkie, huh? Holy shit. I recognize that mascot. <laughs> Happen to it. Cool. Wait, did us examine it?
Oh wait, they also examine this too. Ah. Well, there's the yellow paint splatter. Oh. Um. Oh. I want to point out, going to the scene of the crime seems entirely pointless. Because I think they took the option out. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, let me try going to Eldunes first. Yeah, no, the, the back alley's actually taken out the list. Huh. Interesting. for that plan. He's in questioning, which means we need to do something else. Let's go back to the Kitaki Mansion. Okay, something new. Oh, motorcycle. What the fuck? Hey, well, uh, we found the stand. Oh no, I think I see something. In I think I see something in the distance. minutes? Come on!
Who sets handcuffs? Holy shit. I'm gonna present my attorney's badge. Wow, alright. Help me out! Oh shit, I used the same item again. Oh, never mind, I didn't use the right item. Here. <laughs> okay. Not even, not even panties will move Emma. Shit. Well, speaking of which. Yep. Okay, Emma won't let us actually touch anything, but we can at least confirm that the stand is here. <laughs> what the fuck, Emma? Is it always snack time with you? Holy fuck! Okay, never mind. We can't get any information out of her. Let's get out of here. Emma has made it her mission to be as unhelpful as possible. Dude, I bet she ate all the noodles that were left in that stand. Now, well, let's talk to Phoenix. It's either going to be Phoenix or, um... The fiance that advances things, I think. go. Javier Gavin. Under the silk top hat.
White powder, huh? Thank you very much. Oh, Trucy! Fucking hell. Light powder with the alleged ability to improve Detective Sky's mood. Dude, they knew what they were doing. Fingerprints, that's right. <laughs> White powder memories, huh? Yeah, that certainly is a way of phrasing it. Studying in Europe. Can we present anything? Profiles, maybe. Wait, can I not present profiles? I guess not. Shit.
something scientific? <laughs> ah, I know just the thing. God. I think I know who those belong to. Is that, are those blood stains? Is that a knife in the ground? A shiv? All right, yeah, thanks. from inside this menu. I see. Press Y. Get that shit everywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got this, boys. Walkie's knife. From the way it's facing, it seems like the guy pulling the cart had it. Actually, I want to investigate these prints. What do you mean no clues here? There's a huge stain on the top. Maybe they're, they're like, it's the thumbprint. I don't know if I buy that though. This, this is held in a really weird way. Like it wasn't actually gripped by the handle.
Hmm. All right, well, let's dust this one for Prince. Oh my God. Else we can dust for prints. Maybe the bowl? Uh, no prints that we can make out. That I can make out. Alright, let's get moving. Oh, Plum's not around. We'll have to give her her uh, stuff back later. The Father. Winfred Big Wins Kentucky? That's a hell of a name. Well, the title. Dude, this guy looks like a Japanese Marlon Brando. Holy shit. Hey, what's up, Peps? It's a, a tall order you got there. Dude, this is a fucking mess. Get out of this one. Not aware that 10 years in the joint will make him a fucking pussy? True. He'll learn soon enough. Oops. God, our client's an idiot. Oh, God.
Oh, he's like an actual rock and roll guy. He's got his own theme music. Operation. What operation? Mark of Honor? What? <laughs>
Oh my god! Maybe he did us a favor and shut him up. Dude, this... I don't know who this is. But he's been mewing up a storm. Jesus Christ. You motherfucker! He's filibustering. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't even bother to stop. It just creates the black. All right. Wait, a pistol? What's up with the knife? I mean, we did see it was a gunshot in the opening cutscene. So we know the knife is probably just, um... Just a red herring. Oh. Seen this guy somewhere before. Okay, hold on. I mean, logically, there would be a fingerprint on the trigger, right? No? This gun not have any prints on it? It said two are dusted. Alright, let me break rule number one and look down the barrel. I guess the prints were already collected, we just don't know who they belong to. Oh no, um, the guy, our client got shot, um, near his heart. The, the current victim got shot in the head, by the look of it.
Oh my god. Dude, pressing this guy is his own punishment. Square in the forehead, he says. Right temple? Isn't this... Wouldn't that imply that he got shot, like, on the side? Got the music. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Mr. Stickler, how, how dare you do this? That's where they're going with this. Wait. Right temples. If we turned to face him, that would be the right temple. Frightened? Wait, tossing the pistol aside? That's the bigger issue. 
the, the pistol was recovered from inside the family home. And the object that we found at the crime scene wasn't a pistol, it was a knife. My guess is that our idiot of a client um, came out with a knife to accost this guy, right? But then someone else shot the doctor. Tossing the pistol aside, huh? Oh, that's what you're gonna say, huh, Apollo? Yeah, a gun. to play stickler on me. Objection! Oh, this fucking guy. No, he wasn't wearing gloves. We have evidence that he wasn't. Nope, it's not possible. It wasn't found at the scene of the crime, though. Yeah, I have an objection. You're talking about the wrong weapon. The wrong person was shot in the park. <laughs> in blood? Yeah. We know what that something is.
Now what about it? You didn't get to it. Every time this guy opens his mouth! Stop it! <laughs> Alright. I don't think we'll be rid of this fellow for a while longer. So I think... This is a good place for us to call it in for the evening. Uh, yeah, with that said, I want to thank Gamaza for picking this as a goal stream, and I want to thank all of you for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed tonight's entertainment. Uh, tomorrow, I will be uh, showing Chivalry of a Failed Knight on, over on Discord, so stop on by if you want to see that. And on, let's see, on Friday and Sunday, I'll be playing FGL. And on Saturday, we're, we'll be doing the Teamfight Tactics Zerk Royale. So, stop by if you want to get in on that action. And I'll see you next time, everyone. Have a good one.